What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Nitty. Yo, right now I'm in the studio, but I gotta leave. I gotta make my way over to the Florida Mall. We have a grand opening of the Foot Locker. Foot Locker has remodeled and is now ready for business. And it's a crowd brewing and I gotta get there. I don't know if it's first come, first serve. It's gonna be a raffle, whatever the case. But I got a text this morning like, yo, not sure if you noticed, but you need to pull up. So that's what we about to do. We better head over to the Florida Mall and see what's poppin', man. So I'll see y'all in the building. Peace. Man, I just pulled to the Florida Mall. I Foot Locker's about to reopen. There's a gang of people, bro. Stupid amount of people. It's about over 100 people, bro. We about to walk in this mess and see what's popping. So I was able to get a ticket, y'all. So it's not first come, first serve. It's not about no lines, about a ticket. I'm gonna be the last person in line. Wrote my name on the on the ticket. And they could call me first. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? That just even the playing fields, y'all. All right, looks like people's gathering around, man. Look at they about to start calling names. So let's make it happen, y'all. Hopefully, uh, I got some good news, man. We'll see what the outcome is. My dog hit. I'm still out here. Yo, I'm in the building, yo. Probably like the 30 something person called. Anyways, I made it. I don't know what I'm getting, though. I don't even know what's here. So all the people in front of me, the homeboy, he's almost at the cash register. I got about like 15, maybe 20 people in front of me. Thank you guys for watching, man. But before we continue and get you back over to the Foot Locker Grand opening, we got to talk about the sponsor of this video. I got paid them their respect, man. Salute the soul premise. Yo, in this video, I've been rocking the cross strap. This joint. This gray Luciano leather cross strap. Love it. It is butter. It holds my keys, my wallet and my phone if I need it. It allows me to be hands-free, you know what I'm saying? It allows me to move freely without worrying about keys dangling in my pocket or my wallet protruding my front or back pocket. Not only do they have cross straps, they got the backpack as well. This backpack hold about two pairs of shoes, your laptop, your tablet, so on and so forth. And if you're a frequent traveler, you're gonna need this duffel bag. This also hold about two or three pairs of shoes depending on what you wanna use it primarily for. And, and you can also purchase this tall tree bag as well. Guys, I got a lot of their products and you guys should too, especially if you can save 45% using my code N-I-T-T-Y, which is Nitty on their website, soulpremise.com, man. Let the boys know that I sent you. Salute to Soul Premise for sponsoring this video, man. Now let's get back to the action. Peace. Sell those at Foot Locker. Let's see what the homie got. What you end up getting? Shimmer. Shimmer? And a size 7. Can I follow again? Oh, go ahead. The shimmer, where are the shimmers? Ooh, okay. Okay. That's what I got, y'all. This is my option. Oh, that's my option. What's up? 18105. Right. Hey, don't cheat me. I don't get the I don't get the cardboard bag. I don't get the cardboard bag. I got the oh, plastic. we're out of those. Sorry. Gucci, y'all. Gucci. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Yo, hold up. It's another line? Another line for what? <laughs> Let's pop over here and see what's going on, y'all. All right, y'all, it's a wrap out here, man. Crazy line, but I ain't gonna lie. Foot Locker did it. They did it very maturely, bro. Very maturely. Foot Locker allowed you to put your name down on a raffle card or a raffle, a ticket, and then they uh, called your name individually. So right now, this is the second round of it. Uh, people still lining back up. Um, they went smoothly, too, man. It's, just, it's like this most smooth lineup i have been people's cooperative and everything man it's crazy still but it was well worth it yeah got me a pair of shoes and we're back in the studio i appreciate you guys watching all the way through if you made it this far salute to y'all let me give you guys a quick recap and try to make it short and brief man because there's so much stuff i can discuss but that's going to be throughout multiple different videos because i have a series it's going to be a series oh and salute the soul premise for sponsoring this series as well so essentially i got word that my foot locker my local foot locker at the floor mall was having a grand opening i pulled up i saw the home he's like yo they're doing raffles no longer first come first serve i'm like bet so i put my name on a raffle and eventually they called me I got in the building. I had a few options to pick from. I had the Air Jordan 1s, I patented breads, and I had the 
uh, Jordan 4s. I forgot what they call it at the moment, but you saw them, man. The homie had them, he, I showed them in the camera. So it had those two options. You know what I went for? I went to what's true to me, what's true and dear to me, the Air Jordan 1. Patent breads. This shoe is not new to the channel, man. You guys seen this several times. And you're going to see it one more time. Peep the label. This is size eight, not my size. You already seen the box, you see the glitter, you see the shine. And you're seeing the Air Jordan 1 patent breads. Yo, dope shoe, love this shoe. I have two of them in my size, and this third one is not my size, size eight. It wasn't because I didn't go for my size. This is all the sizes that I had left. I could have went for the Air Jordan uh, 4. I guess those are women, and I choose to opt for this. Again, I'm a Jordan 1 fanatic, so I'm gonna grab me a Jordan 1. Now, the shoe was hitting for retail. 160 plus tax, can't beat it, dope shoe. And those are just the two shoes that they had that day. And I feel a lot of people cop, to be honest with you. You had two options, smaller sizes. I mean, even after the store opened, because they did the raffle very early in that morning, so we don't butt heads with the, the locals that's shopping or the tourists that's shopping, so there's not a whole bunch of pandemonium. So the way Foot Locker actually orchestrated this raffle and the way they called it and how they interacted with the um, people that was waiting. It was dope, man. I wish a lot of raffles could went that smoothly. It was a good experience, man. For those who frown on campouts, you know, getting in line, I feel you. I feel your pain. I hate it as well. But today, it was legit. I have no gripes about how my experience went. It was, it was, it was cool. But anyways, man, I'm out of here. Stay tuned to day two. That's gonna be up next. And again, salute to Soul Prim for sponsoring this series. There's gonna be more videos to come, man. More campouts, more shoes to pick up, man. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me know what you guys thought about this Air Jordan 1 patent bread. Were you a cop it too as well? It's a size eight. Yeah, baggers can't be choosers. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Peace.